I was 17 years old. I was married. And 10 months after I was married, I had a baby girl. She was very ill, very jaundiced, and the doctor told me, the OBGYN who had delivered her, told me that if I ever had another child, I would die. Three months later, I was pregnant again. And I was absolutely terrified. So I went back to him and I said, am I pregnant? And he said, yes. And he said, I told you not to get pregnant. And I said, but you didn't tell me how not to. I couldn't have that baby because if I did and I died, who would take care of the little baby I had? And so I asked the young women where I worked and they sent me to a woman and she put, I think it was a strip of slippery elm bark up my uterus. Two days later, I had a screaming fever, and I was in such pain. And so I went back out to see this woman. And she said, I told you not to come back. And I said, I have nowhere else to go. And she put her arms around me like that. And she just held me up to her chest for a minute. And she said, honey, did you think it was so easy to be a woman? Efforts to limit women's reproductive health care are gaining traction nationwide. Mississippi is one of many states where politicians are working toward eliminating access to abortion. 